today's pranayama, kind of a meditation. Today I'm going to be talking about Kapalabhati breath, which is also known as breath of fire. If this sounds familiar, awesome. I'm sure you know a little bit about it. But today I'm going to kind of show you how to do it and what you can use it for. So breath of fire, it sounds like, and it is a very energizing breath. It's also very cleansing and detoxifying. So whenever you're feeling super stagnant down here and the lower chakras are just down here in the organs or whatever, you're just feeling like, ugh, so low on energy. I was just feeling that yesterday. Just popped in a little bit of like breath of fire and I was feeling a little bit more peppy. So this is going to be great if you need a little bit more energy, if you just want to wake up in the morning. This is a great thing to do to really bring up the energy. It is commonly used in kundalini yoga. If you haven't heard of that, definitely check it out. Especially if you kind of like this style um, of meditation. It can be intense, but it will challenge you. So if you're looking for a challenge, you're in the right place. If you are pregnant, I don't suggest doing it um, just because it's going to be very heating and that's not going to be super, it's not going to feel super good. You're already heated already. If you have any spinal issues, it might be a little bit of a lot because we will be doing a mudra with the arms over the head. It might be a lot on the back. Um, but we're only doing it for a couple minutes. And also if you have high blood pressure, it might not be super awesome to do it either. But honestly, listen to your body. <laughs> do as you please. This is going to be a fun little pranayama for us to do together today. So, if um, you don't like having your arms above the head at any point, if that's not accessible to you, feel free um, to just take eye on mudra, so thumb and index finger together on the thighs here or on the knees here as you do it. Otherwise, you can also just put the hands on the tummy here and I'll show you that. But the mudra that we're going to be doing is called Ego Eradicator. Um, it's more like a, a pose. But we will be bringing the fingers in towards the palms and keeping the thumbs out. And we're just going to keep our arms at 45 degrees and we don't want them back behind us. We want to be able to see our hands slightly in front of us in the corners of our eyes. So this is kind of the pose we're doing. We're all in the shoulders back, pulling the belly in. This is the pose that we'll be doing. Otherwise, you can take whatever feels good. <laughs> so for the breath itself, uh, first thing I want to tell you is that if you have cats or dogs, they're going to want to come over here and give you all the hugs and kisses because we're going to be panting. <laughs> so we'll just start right now. You can bring your hand on the tummy and just pant like a dog. So like, <sighs> you can stick the tongue out if you want. Otherwise, just keep the mouth normal here. So this is very similar to Breath of Fire. As you can feel the tummy coming in and out here. The only thing with Breath of Fire is that we're going to make the inhale a little more passive and we're going to close the lips here. Everything is going to be through the nose so we're going to take an inhale, slight inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Kind of like a little sniff. So it's going to be a little bit more powerful and more punchy than like a dog pant. And I will even show you my tummy. So you can kind of see what's going on here. So we'll just take a little inhale and so the navel snapping back in towards the spine here. And you'll notice I'm not actively trying to inhale, take the biggest inhale here. It's mainly just strong, assertive, snapping exhales. Keeping the face nice and relaxed here. We don't want to go, no, it's not going to feel good. So if it does feel good for now, just try it. Have one hand on the tummy, both hands on the tummy. Take an inhale here and exhale all the air out. And then take a small inhale halfway and then let it go through the nose. 
and just take it slow as you're pumping the navel back in towards the spine with each exhale make it nice and snappy and the pace that you want to go keep practicing this but the pace that you want to go is totally up to you you can go as slow as you want If you need a little bit more of an inhale and you're having trouble with it, you can go a little bit faster. If you're feeling that today, otherwise you can just go at a nice, slow, steady, steady pace. And as you're doing this, if you notice yourself like um, coming out of breath, maybe you need to take a little bit more of an inhale, but don't feel like you need to hold it for the whole two minutes. You can take a second, take a long, slow, deep inhale, long, slow, deep exhale, take a breath in, and then begin again. So you're not stuck to doing it. Just know you can catch your breath, and you can bring your arms down, but I definitely challenge you, because this is a challenging pranayama, to keep those the fingers in, thumbs out, 45 degrees here just for two minutes and I'm going to put on my timer and we will begin. So first setting up, make sure you have a nice easy sit. You can sit up on something if you need to if you're not already. Making sure the spine is nice and long. Just catch your breath from that little practice just for a moment and we'll bring the thumbs up bringing the arms up 45 degrees take a deep inhale long exhale let it all out inhale part way and begin Keep it up, pulling the core in, closing the eyes, going at your own pace. in. I know you feel it burning, that core strength. Keeping the arms strong. Elbows soft. seconds. chin here, pulling up from the pelvic floor, lifting here, hold that inhale, sustain the breath, and exhale, bring the arms down, palms face down in the thighs, roll the shoulders back, keeping the eyes closed here, just take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Rounding down, noticing how the energy is moving throughout the body. Keep 
the breathing, allowing this energy to settle within you. Exhale, rooting every limb, every part of your body that's touching the floor, the mat, the seat, whatever you're on. chin here. Still breathing. Elongating the back of the neck. Feeling the chest rise to the chin. Bring your right hand into a fist and put it right over your navel. And bring your left hand over that fist. We'll take a little yogic seal here. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, begin to fold over this fist, keeping the fist where it's at in space. Just bow down. Slowly come on up palms together at the front of the heart. Take an inhale. And exhale out through the mouth. H-A. <sighs> Two more times. Inhale. And ground. Let it out. Release. <sighs> Last time on your own. <sighs> Wonderful. Thank you for taking the time to learn Breath of Fire. Let us know how you liked it in the comments. Let us know how it felt. Let us know if it was difficult, if it was easy, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. It's not for everyone, but I hope you're feeling good. You're feeling energized. You had a little bit of detoxing. You might feel a little cleansing. Your nasal like passages might feel a little cleansed here and open. I hope that it served you. Thank you so much for doing this practice. I'll see you later. Namaste.